Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we're taking a look at the uh, Cubic Fun Screw Play 3-in-1 Super Vehicle Force. <laughs> so yeah, this is aimed for younger kids, but I thought the concept was super original and the color reminded me of uh, Devastator and I don't know, it, it looks pretty cool, so I just got myself one set. There is like uh, five or six sets uh, already available so I'll talk to about them later on but they are pretty damn cool they are the concept of a uh, small vehicle uh, really childlike very uh, solid so this is made uh, to be uh, mishandled by young kids <laughs> and the concept of this is that they have screws and you can unscrew everything apart and you can just rebuild anything else that you want uh, through that <laughs> you have an imagination for it but the main um, uh, the, 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 the main thing to do with it is that to have like a ve army vehicle so you have a uh, missile launcher truck a boat helicopter and they will just uh, transform and combine into a giant robot but again you have possibilities that <laughs> It just lets you uh, have fun with it, so yeah, it's pretty damn cool. Uh, this is a uh, rocket launcher truck. So we have the missiles that go up and down. We have threads, but they don't spin, but we do have tiny wheels here. Nice window kind of paint. And like I said, the plastic is super strong, so it's made to be mishandled by kids. You have the boat. Again, small wheels here. You have uh, propeller wings thing here. And some stickers, it's pretty damn cool. And we have the helicopter right here. Like, uh, they all are like super cartoony, but yeah, pretty cool. The blades does spin. We do have some wheels underneath the skis. And yeah. Now, again, like I said, they are made to be uh, dismantled, and we it comes with a screwdriver. Now, the screwdriver really interested me because it feels like it moves in here so I thought maybe we could put some batteries in so to have like a automatic screwdriver but this is not a button this is not a button there's no way to open it there's nothing in the instructions so uh, I don't know it's just like that so you have the screwdriver you have a bunch of extra screws so you can build more stuff and you know compare and like I said you have like this and you can dismantle all of it there you go you remove and you remove there you go so the pieces come apart and you can build yourself anything your imagination can imagine <laughs> that can be bolted on with these so that's pretty damn cool for kids playing around so yeah First off, we have the instructions, and the instructions are pretty interesting, very nicely detailed. Uh, they are like super unfoldable, like this. <laughs> so you have like all the parts. Is, like if you want to come, if you want to build the helicopter, you need like the turbine, the landing gear, uh, one twenty-seven millimeter screw, and the sixteen smallish screw, and it tells you how to build it. Same thing for the boat, same thing for the truck, and then it shows how to combine everything. So, pretty damn cool. And on the other side, we have a closer look at the pieces and the constructions of the of vehicles. So, pretty damn cool. Now, like I said, there is a bunch of sets uh, that exist from this line. And uh, I, only, I only took this one because I, I really thought it was cool. But there's also like a, the construction uh, trucks that kind of combines into a dinosaurs. There's police trucks that combines into a robot. I, there's so many of them. I think like five or six. And I took this one. But if you buy more of the same set of the, the different sets, uh, I, they are all compatible. So they all have the same screws, the same everything. So you can really have fun with it and build monstrosities. <laughs> They are like a bunch of screw holes that has no purpose except for you to have fun. So, yeah, you just have to let your imagination go. Or, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. The trucks has nothing much to it. 
codes and everything I already showed him so uh, maybe we can go with the uh, dismantling and transformation into the combined mode so very easy uh, first step is to pretty much disassemble everything from them <laughs> so yeah let's take the screwdriver let's start with the truck here so close the missiles and you want to unscrew the tank threads so we got one got two so leave the screws here same thing on the other side unscrew the tank threads Oink. and the other one there you go and removing the tank threads will split these apart so you have this now you can unscrew also the bumpers but I don't recommend it because it's part of the transformation now what you want to do now is open up the lid here and what you want to do now is take one of the tank threads and slide it in like this and then using that hole you use the same screw in and you plug it in and you screw there's no need to screw like super tightly anyway so there we go we have one leg done so you take the other part here take this part and do the same thing here so you just slide tank threads in and screw in it and there we go we have legs so let's move these in the back Next up, you want to take the boat, and the boat you have like this screw right here. You remove this, and this will loose the cockpit and the propeller. There you go. So you have that. And next, you have like these. You have two screws on the side, so you want to remove those. Oops. One. Two. And this will separate. And this will make arms, so you have like the elbow bend right here. It's not much, but it works. And what you want to do now is also take this part right here. So this is for locking into boat, boat mode, but when you drop this, it opens up the canal so it can go deeper. So this is what you want. Then you have the thumb you can open up. So you have one arm. The other one doesn't have it, so that's cool. And you open up the thumb, and there you go. We have that. And next up, you have the helicopter. Now, the helicopter, there's not much to it to do. You can open up this, can it like the, the cockpit here, it opens, and then you rotate the head around like this, close it back in, and there you go. Now, for assembly, you can take uh, the little screw right here. Don't even need <laughs> the screwdriver. Open this up, take the thing here bring it here and then you want to screw it back all together there you go like this so it's kind of cool it does look like it fits perfectly on the helicopter so <laughs> yeah in the back you want to take the um, boat backpack and you can see it fits perfectly here you have like indent for the wheels so that's cool plug it back there you go and now you need a medium screw. So you have short, medium, and long. And I think medium is the one that works. And there you go. You have this, like this. All right, next up, you want to take maybe the arms. Bring the arms uh, like this, is it? How did I plug that? Uh, I guess it's like that. So you take the long screw, drop it in, like this, and now you plug it back in here, and now you screw. There you go, we have one arm. Same thing for the other side, so take a long screw, put it in, plug it in here, and then you screw. trying to do it on camera so yeah there you go we got arms now and finally we have two long screws and legs so yeah one plus one put this in here 
and screw this in the propeller. There you go. Same thing on the other side. Put this in. Put the screw in. And then just screw. And voila! We have the combiner all done. Let's put the camera up. Because he's a big boy. But there you go. <laughs> and this is the uh, the way that the instruction shows you how to do. So, yeah, pretty interesting. We do have the propeller here that I'm not a big fan, but it's a screw, so you can <laughs> remove it if you want. So let's try and do that. So even the instruction tells you to leave the propeller there. You have a small screw here, and if you want, you can just plug it. For example, on the arm right here. Oops. Or oops. There is like a hole right here, so you can plug it in here. So yeah, let's do that. It won't spin really, but Jesus, <laughs> it won't really spin. But you don't really care. It's a weapon. There you go. And it's pretty damn cool. <laughs> Arms can move, no problem. The head, as you can see, just open this up, and you can move side to side. It's a little bit tight, but it works. The legs, though, are uh, locked because uh, for stability, I guess. But uh, you can unscrew it just a little bit, and then you can pop it out, move it, plug it back in, and screw it back. And now you have a leg, but now it's really unstable, you know. But yeah, they. You need to unscrew them a little bit and then move them whoops, correctly and then plug it back in. But yeah, it's pretty damn cool. I really like this for children. It's amazingly uh, fine and uh, interesting. If you uh, buy all the other ones, you can surely create abominations and monsters and robots and stuff. And it's really fun. And as you can see, it's not long to just uh, disassemble and reassemble. And it's pretty fun and it's really solid. and. Yeah, I really approve this. It's really cool. And uh, yeah, I know it's for smaller children, but <laughs> it's pretty damn interesting. So that's pretty much there is. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to buy the other ones, but uh, <laughs> I'm super interested. But uh, yeah, this is the Cubic Fun Screw Play 3-in-1 Super Vehicle Force. I got this from SiriToys.com. I'm going to put the link in the description below if you're interested. But they are also available on Amazon if you want to. But uh, they're cheaper at SiriToys. That's how I got mine. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. I recommend it for me. It's fun for kids. And, uh, yeah, there you go. So, uh, you know the song. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. Alright, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.